Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to create this full face, flawless glam makeup look that I have been loving. And I usually wear this makeup look if I'm going out for drinks or if I'm like, I don't know, if I just wanna feel more glam. And I always have glam makeup, <laughs> but I've just been loving this look, especially at the moment. So before I jump straight into this tutorial, I wanted to quickly mention that this video is really kindly sponsored by Vanity Planet. Now I've worked with them before, but I haven't done like a specific sponsored video by them. And I was so, so excited to work with them because I love all the products that I've used before. And this one in particular is probably one of my favorites. This is the Gleam Light Mirror. I wanna tell you all the amazing features that this mirror has. Now, if you're from England or, do they have boots anywhere else? Maybe they, I think they do in other countries. <laughs> but if you have a boots near you, around Christmas time, they always sell these mirrors. The Boots ones are a lot smaller than this one and they only have one setting and just a little button and that's it. And then that's all I thought that they would do. And then I got my hands on this one and I was like, whoa, it actually does quite a lot. So to start off, this mirror is touch screen, which is amazing. And it also has three different settings. If you click it once, this is the LED setting. Oh look, I look lovely. <laughs> um, joking. If you tap it again, it's got the warm setting. And then if you tap it one more time, it's got the natural setting. Personally, I always go for this setting, the natural one. It's sort of a combination of both of them together, but I don't know, you can do whatever one you want and then you tap it again and then it's off. Something I've always struggled with when doing my makeup is that I always have to do it in natural lighting because I just feel like it goes really, really wrong if I do it in other lightings. So I'm always like, no, no, I need to do it natural. And then because I got this, it is a lot brighter than the Boots one. I don't want to keep comparing it to the Boots one, but because I've actually had a mirror like this before, I thought it was just the same, but I genuinely love this mirror. So the thing I love, I love, the thing I love about it is that you can literally do your makeup in any lighting, any time of the day, if you've got this mirror, because of all the different variety of settings that you can choose from. So it just depends on what lighting you've got outside to then, to then vary on how or when you're gonna do your makeup. Another amazing thing about it is it has got a 360 degree spin. And then on this side, which has got loads of lovely fingerprints, <laughs> it has got a seven times zoom. So, I mean, if you want your nose to look really big, then... But no, I usually use this side when I'm plucking my eyebrows because you can literally see everything. It's a bit frightening. So let's just go back to this side. <laughs> I usually use this side when I do my makeup and things like that because it's just perfect. The mirror is actually quite big. Um, which I love about it. And it's also got a 15 minute timer. So say if you've left your mirror on, you run out the door because you're in a rush or whatever, and then you're like, oh my God, I've left the mirror on. It's fine, it's got a 15 minute timer. So it's not gonna waste any of the battery use on the mirror. Like I said, it is battery operated. So you need four AA batteries. Although if you're not a biggest fan of batteries, it has got a little adapter thing, which I believe you can buy online somewhere somewhere, <laughs> probably on Amazon or eBay. Um, so if you don't like batteries, then you can just buy one of these and plug it in and it will do exactly the same. As you guys know, I usually take most of my selfies after I film my videos, just to show you guys my makeup. So I use this huge ring light. But time is where all my equipment is away and I just wanna take a selfie on Snapchat or well, whenever. Um, I usually use this because it is really, really bright and you can change the settings it still gives you that full face glow that a ring light does. And it literally, <laughs> it literally makes your makeup look flawless. So it's amazing. So that was just what I wanted to mention before this video because it is an incredible mirror um, and I definitely recommend it. And I always have it on the side because it's not like an ugly mirror. It still looks quite pretty and I love it. The best part of all of this is that I have a 60% off code for you guys, which is incredible. The code is Glam Light. I will leave the code on the screen and I will leave the link in the top line of the description box down below. So if you click on the link, add the mirror to your basket, then at the checkout, if you type in Glam Light, then you will get 60% off, which is a lot of money. I don't know how much it comes to, <laughs> but anyway, it is a lot and it is definitely worth it. I absolutely love this product, so yeah. So anyway, guys, moving in to the video, if you want to see how to create this makeup look, then please keep watching. So to start off with my whole makeup, I always like to use 
the neutral setting, which is, I believe it's the third one. So you've got the LED, the warm, and then the neutral, which is a combination of both of them, which is what I prefer. I'm first of all gonna start off with this Olo Hydration Moisturizer. It's got SPF 15 in it as well, so, so we had one sunny day yesterday, and it is actually sunny today as well. So, I mean, you've gotta be protected by the sun. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this moisturizer. I pop this much on, and then I just dab it like evenly throughout my face. Then you just rub it in. For primer, I'm going to be using my two favourites, which is first of all this NYX First Base Primer Spray. This will last you for so long. I literally, I've used it every single day and it's still near the top. So I just do a couple of squirts on my face, just equally amount. And then you can fan it to sort of set it in place, like you do with like setting spray. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Shine Killer. Now you would have seen me use the NYX Pore Filler before. Um, which basically fills your pores up. But this one, I think it sort of mattifies your face a little bit. And I've got a really oily T-zone. So throughout the day, if I don't powder my makeup up, makeup up? Powder my makeup or go over the top of it, it will be, oh, hello. <laughs> um, it will be so oily. So this is basically a shine killer. I've only used it a couple of times. So I can't tell you if it's like the best thing ever. But I feel like, oh my God, it does not want to go down. Where is it? There we go. I feel like it is working. I mean, you can see, <clears throat> you can see the results straight away. Um, and it basically just de-shines you and it mattifies you. So if you've got dry skin, then don't do, don't do this, then don't use this. Um, but I've got a really oily T-zone, so I like to pop it there. So once that is set into your skin, I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna mix the Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade six with the Bourjois Healthy Mix um, foundation in the shade beige, um, 54. I'm then gonna use this foundation brush because I have already done my eyebrows, so if I use a big brush, it's gonna mess them up. So this brush is just from the Vanity Planet brush set. Um, it's really good for mixing your foundations as well if you do it on your hand. And then you can sort of just paint your face. Dub it around. Um, I have got a video um, on my eyebrows on an eyebrow tutorial, so I will leave that in the description below if you oh, um, if you did want to check out my eyebrow tutorial. So once you've done that, I'm gonna get my damp beauty blender. By damp, I just get a makeup wipe. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna push in the foundation on my skin and it will literally give you the most flawless finish ever. So. You can just use a beauty blender to apply a foundation, but I personally like it to be on my skin before and sort of moved around and where I want it to be because when I use a beauty blender, I feel like it soaks up all of the product straight away. So this is good to just sort of buff it out and make it look so flawless. As you can see, I always leave my neck to sort of blend in with this brush. This is also from the Vanity Planet brush set. Um, it's just the most amazing thing. Um, and basically, I just like to sort of buff it in my skin with this brush. I feel like I have more precision using this brush because it's got a small, it hasn't really got an actual handle, it's just quite small. So it's really, really easy to just buff it in. Um, I have got one that's similar. This is from Bare Minerals. They're literally identical, but I feel like it doesn't, I don't know, it's just not as good as this one. This one's just the best. So if you don't want a mask, then get this brush. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Naked Urban Dis Skin Foundation and this Bourjois, oh, this Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. Also, excuse my nails, by the way. Um, I peeled off my gel um, and now they're left in like the worst state ever. So not a great day to film, but you know. Just to 
<laughs> just to set all my concealer in place. And then what I'm gonna do with the same powder and just a really, really big brush, um, I'm gonna lightly just dust that all over my face. Once that is all buffed in, I'm then gonna go in with this Urban Decay Naked Medium Light Powder. This has got a color to it. It's not like the L'Oreal one, which, L'Oreal? Rimmel one, which is transparent. This has got a slight color to it. So I like to use this Vanity Planet brush, which is amazing. And I'm likely gonna dust it around my face. Now this is gonna give me a little bit more of a coverage, not too much. It's gonna set all my makeup in place. Um, and it's also gonna give me more coverage. So I really love this powder. Moving on to contour, I'm gonna use this Taylor Blue contour kit from Hot Mess. Um, you guys know how much I love this contour kit. The powders are just so creamy and I just love it. So I'm just gonna contour and bronze my face like I usually do. So you guys know where I like to put it. As you can see on the sides, the contour bit is sort of fallen due to the brush I was using, which I don't know why I always regret using that brush after I've used it. So what I like to do is go in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 120, in the shade 120. It is a very light powder, but it's amazing for baking your face. So I've always used the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder mainly to bake. Um, and then I discovered this and it's incredible. And it is a compact powder, yet it does an even better job than the, the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is crazy. And it's so cheap. <laughs> so I like to get the brush that it comes with. It's like a powdery brush. I don't really know how to explain it. It's so cute. Um, and I like to pop a generous amount onto the brush. The sponge, the brush. There's a name for this. It's like the puff. I can't remember the name. <laughs> um, and then what I like to do is just sharpen my contour here. You'll notice the biggest difference ever. It's amazing. So it does that, which is incredible already. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. I'm gonna use a smaller angle brush. And I'm gonna go over the top. And then I get this big brush, wipe it away. I like to do it straight away because I feel like if you leave your powder on when you bake, I always either get flashback photography, which is not good, um, or it just le it just doesn't look as natural or as good. So um, it's good to just blend it out straight away. That's what I like to do anyway, but it's up to you. Some people leave it on for so long. So once all of this is done, I like to go onto my eyes and then I like to highlight and blush and all that kind of stuff afterwards because I'm leaning on my face and there's just no point. <laughs> I like to conceal my eyes before I apply any of the eyeshadow and stuff. So I'm just gonna go back with this bourgeois um, concealer and pop a dot on each eyes. Woo! And we're all done. I'm gonna use a small, I'm gonna use this mirror from the Kylie Jenner palette because I usually use the Vanity Planet mirror every time I do my eyes, but because it's there, I can't really carry it, so I'm gonna have to use this one, but I normally use the Vanity Planet one. And then I like to just buff the concealer in. And then get a beauty blender and just push in the concealer. I realized I forgot to set my eyes in place, so, I'm gonna go in quickly with the powder and the brush I was using and just go over the top. So first of all, I'm gonna grab the Kylie Bible palette from BH. I'm gonna use the first shade here and I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna pop this all over my lid. And then with the second color from the palette, I'm gonna put this in my tear duct and my brow bone. I'm also gonna use this same color to just highlight my nose, because I'm already here. And then my cupid's bow. I'm then gonna go in with a transition. I'm gonna use this shade here. 
and then pop this direct into my crease just a bit above and just blend that colour outwards so once you've done that I'm then going to move on to this shade here and just a small brush and I'm going to pop this either side of my eyelid, leaving out the middle part. And then you're gonna get an angle blending brush and just sort of really lightly blend in that color, leaving a gap in the middle. Once you've done that, I'm then gonna use the darker purple shade in the corner and then go over the top of that as well. And it's really just about building. You can't do it straight away. It has to just be built and then it will all come together. So what I'm now gonna do is just wet this brush with my makeup wipe. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is the most beautiful shimmery shade ever and I'm gonna pop this here where I didn't apply the darker eyeshadow and then pat it in and then just blend it in with the other eyeshadow colours I'm then gonna get this brush from the Vanity Planet brush set and use this colour here oh, this one and then just sort of blend in the glitter part with the purple i'm then just going to darken the purple sides up with this brown shade here i'm going to mix this with this together and it's just going to create a really dark purple and i'm going to pop this on the outer parts and the inner corner where i applied the purple eyeshadow before I'm gonna go in with this end of the brush and go back in with this shade here and pop this on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna miss the middle part as well. So I'm basically copying what I've done on the top line. And then I'm gonna go back with that glitter shade oh, as well. Pop that in the middle. And then for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, which is a pen. If you shake it before you use it, it will, more ink will come out. Ink, more eyeliner will come out. If you're not that good at doing a wing, then I would definitely suggest starting off with a pen to do it, to practice with, because you have a lot more, you have a lot more precision when you're using this. Then what you can do is get a cotton bud and then neaten up the edges here. And then I'm gonna go in with my telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. And then after the mascara is applied, I then like to apply these lashes. I will leave them in the link below. I'm now gonna move on to blusher. I'm gonna use this one from Sigma, Corda, Corda Rosa? I don't know how you say it. Uh, but basically, I'm just gonna use this one. It's such a beautiful blush color. It's literally my favorite blush color ever. I love it, because it's got more of a peachy, warmy tone to it. It's not too, like, whoa, do you know what I mean? Um, it is really, really pigmented, so just tap as much off as you can and then just, and then blend it outwards into your contour. And now for my favorite part ever, I'm gonna use these Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I have been wanting to use these in a video in so, so so long but they've been sold out for ages let me check because apparently they were back in stock so let me have a look for you guys and see if they're in stock 
because these are the most amazing highlighter drops I've ever used and it's literally the perfect colour ever. So, oh my, okay, so they're in stock now, so you can buy these online. They are incredible. So, you don't need a lot at all. Oh my god, guys, look. Can you see? It literally makes me so happy. So what I'm going to do is literally pop three drops on my cheekbones each side because a little goes a long way. I promise you, it goes a long way. Oh, you want to move your hairs out your face because that's what I always do. And it always gets caught in my hairs. So literally like this. I'm then gonna get a beauty blender. This is another one to what I was using before because you don't wanna use the same one. On Because I put powder on, you need to do it so lightly. And all you're gonna do is tap it. If you push it in too much on your skin, it's gonna take away your makeup underneath. So honestly, when I say be careful, like be as gentle and as light as you can. So once I've done that, I then like to go back with the Carly Bible palette and use this second highlighter shade. And I like to just set it in place. I do feel like these sort of set as well, so you don't have to apply highlighter over the top. But I like to just be extra highlighted at the moment. So I'm just gonna go over the top of that. And it's basically like, I'm just setting it in place. It's like what I do with my concealer. So, yeah. Um, for lips now, I'm going, they look like I haven't got any lips, what's going on? Um, I'm going to mix my Rimmel Cappuccino, which I'm now using again, I still love the Kylie Jenner Moon, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with this NYX liquid lipstick in the shade 9, I will leave every single thing I use in this video in the description below for you guys, so if you did want to know what products I'm using because you forgot or you just want to know a list of them, then I will leave everything that I've used in the description below for you guys, so just don't worry. So I'm going to line my lips with this, sort of do an ombre effect and then pop the liquid lipstick on over the top. I'm going to use the tiniest bit of Vaseline, um, I just like to use a lip balm because when I apply liquid lipsticks because my lips are really really dry. And then to set everything in place I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Uh, this is the really cute small one it's so cute and they've got new packaging which I'm loving it's so nice so this is what I'm going to use Everyone, this is the final result I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have then make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new to my channel I upload twice a week for beauty related videos I'm so sorry about last week I didn't upload last week I filmed my videos and I didn't upload because I just did not like the videos and it was so stressful and I was having such not a down week but I just wasn't that motivated that week I don't know why sometimes I feel like in any job you have you sort of lose motivation a little bit and I was a bit like ah! um, and I was panicking and the videos I filmed no I'm the type of person that I'll, if I like a video I'll upload it but if I don't like a video I won't carry on editing it and upload it because I just no 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 <laughs> so I apologize for that also, if you did want to get 60% off this light that I explained at the beginning of the video, don't know what that was, then click the link in the description below. It'll be the top light of the description. 
It'll be the top line of the description box down below and then type in the code GLAMLIGHT at your checkout and you will receive 60% off, which is insane. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.